What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel, Extreme Daily Drivers. Today we're going to be working on our Jeep Commander once again. And once again, we're going to be in the inside of the vehicle. That's right, in today's video we are going to be removing the leather off of our steering wheel and going to be replacing it with a new wrap from RedlineGoods.com. So here's the kit that you get from RedlineGoods.com. I'll have a link down in the description. No affiliation with them whatsoever. I bought this with my own money. I actually bought this back. This is another Memorial Day sale. Uh, this is... Uh, been sitting in my garage for six months or something like that. Now I decided to go with a, a two-tone um, leather wrap here. It's black and I forget what the actual color is I went with. I'll try to find it and I'll list it in the video, but it doesn't match 100%. You'll see that once we get in the car, but I still think it's gonna be fine. And then I chose to not only replace the leather, but I wanna add padding. So they had to actually kind of create this to incorporate the padding uh, that will make the steering wheel more comfortable to use. Here's the padding. It's, uh, I mean, I don't know how much this stuff costs. For, probably like 30 cents. I mean, it's pretty chintzy, but I can imagine this around the steering wheel is gonna be pretty awesome underneath this wrap. So they give you the pieces that you need and they give you some thread. Now, before I put the new wrap on, let's take a look at the old wheel here. It isn't like horrific for how old it is, right? It's uh, 2006. So we're looking at something here that's what, 16 years old, 17 years old, something like that. I think the biggest issue I have with this wheel is just the overall quality of the leather or whatever you want to call this. It's really poor. It's just not, even if this was brand new, this is nothing right home about. It's very plasticky. You see the shine coming off of it. Now I've cleaned it and I've put leather conditioner on it and stuff, but I mean, dude, it's just too shiny. Look, look at the nice leather on the seat. You know, especially like right here. I mean, that's that's like nice leather. This is really chintzy. So it's just a disappointing wrap. Um, and then up here, it's really hard to see in this lighting, but up here where your hand primarily is, it has worn out the leather and there's no bringing it back. So yeah, man, it's time for this thing to go. And it's time for a cool looking upgrade. This is a luxury overland vehicle, man. I want it to feel like a luxury overland vehicle. All right, so here it is, kind of just laying on the steering wheel, and man, it is sweet. It uh, It's going to be so nice. I can't wait to get it done. Look how nice and rich this kind of, uh, this tan color is. And against the black, I love the uh, the stitching here. It's, it's just awesome. I think I have this lined up right. Um, it seems like it is. I mean, maybe it's off a little bit, but this is kind of the starting point trying to figure out exactly how this wrap goes around the wheel. You can see how the fit is. Now, when this gets installed, this leather will be cut off. That's step one, you cut the leather off. So I'm trying to imagine how it would be with the padding on there and how close or how good of a fit it would be. It's kind of really hard to guess, but I think it's close enough. I know that when you start stitching this on, you can really get some leverage and pull this wrap super tight. So I think we'll make up the difference in these areas here where it looks like, you know, it may be too tight. So after thinking about this leather wrap installation and everything that could possibly go wrong with it, I made the decision to actually send it off to Redline Goods and have them do it. They have a really quick turnaround and it's only 250 bucks. And that's a pretty good deal because that's including shipping there and back. So it's just time now to remove the wheel, stick it in a box and send it off. All right guys, installation complete. Real easy to remove or uh, reinstall the steering wheel. Three screws underneath, then it's two bolts to remove the uh, airbag, and then it's one bolt in the center to pull the steering wheel off. If you guys are fans of the channel, you've seen me remove a lot of steering wheels on this, on this channel, and you don't need a steering wheel puller. You just uh, need maybe a gym membership. <laughs> but it comes off pretty easy if you rock it back and forth, it'll come right off. But uh, super happy with how this turned out. Oh my God, dude, it looks sick. Check it out, man. I mean, I have wrapped a steering wheel before. You guys uh, saw me do it on the XB, but I could have never done it this good. It's really hard for me to get in under here for you to see the stitching, but trust me when I tell you that it is clearly done by a professional and not somebody in their garage or some YouTuber. <laughs> Turned out absolutely sick. 
and the foam padding is the way to go this is an entirely new steering wheel now thanks to that foam pad of course it's really hard for me to make you understand how it feels but trust me man it is it's a huge upgrade over that hard leather plasticky stuff that was on here before the installation super happy with how this turned out um as far as the colors you will notice <laughs> that it does not match but it's really not that big of a deal because matching only matters when you're up against the color in other words if i took the steering wheel off and laid it on the seat you would be able to tell very quickly that the colors don't match however with this steering wheel up against a black background uh it really doesn't stand out how much that the, it does not match but again that's not that wasn't on redlinegoods.com that was on me i ordered it off their website and i just thought beige would be the color and uh it's a shade too light um, so I don't know what their alternative is to something a little darker But that would be probably what you want to go with if you're thinking about doing this mod So before I wrap this video up, I want to talk about cost. How much did this cost? So I got this wrap on a Memorial Day sale It was like 20% off and it was hundred and nineteen dollars shipped um, Because it's two-tone it was extra money and because I got the padding it was extra money so I think I wound up saving something like $40 by taking advantage of that sale. I think without the sale, it would have been around $150 or $160 or something like that for the wrap and the padding. Installation was $250. That included shipping. So all together, we're in for a little under $400 for this transformation. But I'll tell you, it might sound like a lot of money to you, but it's totally worth it. And I'll tell you why. The steering wheel is one of the most important things in a vehicle, period. Reason being, it's the thing that you're touching the entire time you're driving, all right? So I always mod steering wheels in every vehicle because it's such an important part of not only how the interior looks, but the driving experience overall. You wanna hold on to something that's nice, not something that's crappy, and certainly not one of those silly covers that I see half of the cars driving around the roads. They're sporting those ridiculous slip-on covers, man. Those things are absolute trash. Please don't be that guy. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Later.